as soon as I asked her to dance and she slid down into my arms, I was a goner. <laughs> She just couldn't bear to, to part with anything that she created. I know um, many years ago there was a gentleman who wanted to buy some pastels, that, a series of pastels that she made. And um, she told him that yes, she would sell them to him. But she ended up making copies of them and selling him the copies. And of course they were still originals as far as he was concerned, but she didn't part with what she considered to be original. Pocas artistas han cerrado, han creado un ciclo de trabajo tan amplio, tan procesual, tan investigativo como lo ha hecho Nero. Yo creo que eso es un acierto. Yo creo que es un don de, de Nela de Arias Misón. Y yo pienso que ella, en su obra, al final, uno siente aquello que decía José Lezama Lima. Yo siempre esperaba que sucediera algo. Y en ese instante sabía que mi espera era perfecta. Y yo siento que la vida de Nera fue la espera perfecta. No se desesperó por la fama. Yo siento que ella sabía que algún día eso iba a llegar. She began painting strange figures like a, a huge um, American eagle, uh, which was like it was like an American eagle, but there was something absurd about it. It was a comical eagle. But not, it's not a realistic eagle, it's not a comic book eagle, it's not a kitsch eagle. It's a strange, somewhat touching figure of an eagle. You feel a kind of compassion for this great big bird that hardly fits inside the frame, you know. And, um, and then other things like a, a great big umbrella with a hook on top, on top of it, with like an invention that she made so you could hang the umbrella when you came home. Um, see, images like that, great, large, global, in, peculiar, intuitive images. Color is always very uh, emotional, deep. Um, the colors are moving. Uh, I think it's, uh, I think she was really profoundly colorist, I would say. No, my mother really did isolate herself from the world of art in the latter part of her life. She didn't want to deal with the commercial aspects. Every so often I would tell her, you know, mother, you know, art really is also a business, and she just wouldn't accept that. She just didn't want to accept it. She liked for people to come and look at her art and praise it and, and be happy to see it, but she didn't want to part with it. One of my mother's paintings was being exhibited in, I think it was the Provincetown Art Gallery. I forget the name of it. but. It was one of her abstracts when she was studying with Hoffman and someone broke into the gallery and in white paint painted so what with a question mark after it over one of the sections of the painting. It was a form of vandalism but Hoffman said that they shouldn't restore it, they should leave it as is, that it was a statement. Yo veo su obra extremadamente procesual. No creo que sea una obra que se quede solamente en el objeto. Y ese yo creo que fue el gran aporte de ella con respecto a otras artistas mujeres. Y no estoy pensando solo en las artistas cubanas, que han sido muy importantes y que todavía la mayoría de ellas no tienen el lugar que merecen. Sino estoy pensando en la historia del arte a nivel internacional. Oh, I think my mother would be really happy that um, her work is being restored and taken care of. Um, you know, just for the last years of her life, I kept on saying, Mother, we have to do something with all this art. Let me start, let me start figuring out what to do. And she wouldn't let me do anything. And she'd finally say, don't worry, something will happen. 